Aloha, everybody, and welcome to the second part of the DuckTales saga. This is DuckTales 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and here we see that Uncle Scrooge, he has found a treasure map, and it says it's the secret treasure of McDuck. Well, of course, Scrooge loves money. He loves treasure. Time to go on another wacky adventure. So we have a sequel to the NES game where things are a little bit different, but it's still just as fun all the same. And now I'm going to be quiet because the DuckTales theme must be listened to once again. So once again, I'm going to be playing the game on difficult mode, which really isn't that different from normal mode, just like the first game. I don't even think I talked about the fact that I played difficult mode in the first game. The only thing that really changes is that there's no invincibility tokens, uh, like this little circle with an M on it that makes you... It's like a Starman, basically. And uh, sometimes the treasure chests give you less money than they would if it was normal or easy, but... Uh, anywho. Once again, we have five levels to choose from when the game starts up, and we can go in any order that we want, uh, but there are certain upgrades this time around that we want to pick up for our character in order to get all the treasures that we can, so I am going to be choosing a rather effective uh, pathway, a rather good strategy, and choose levels in a very good order. So as you can see, Scrooge McDuck still looks the same, he still uses his cane as a pogo stick, and he can still whack things, whack walls, in order to break boxes and whatnot, but uh, he has a whole bunch of new tricks up his sleeve, and uh, there, is different, there is a different thing about the controls this time around. Uh, originally, in the first DuckTales game, you had to hold the down button while you were pogoing. That way, you know, the cane would stick out, and you wouldn't just fall and land on the enemies and hurt your, your poor webbed feet. <laughs> this time around, all you have to do is hold B. You do not have to hold down, so the pogoing has been made a lot easier. Uh, you know, not like drastically easier, but, you know, some people may enjoy that. Uh, once again, this is a game about exploration, collecting money. Uh, you actually don't get the best ending from getting a whole bunch of money, though. Uh, this time around, there is a second unlockable thing that you want to look out for. There are always going to be a piece of treasure map in every level. So while you're also going to the end of the level, beating the boss and getting their magical one million dollar treasure, uh, you still want to look out for treasure map pieces, because that will get you the best ending. Find all the treasure map pieces, you get an additional level, and then you could find the treasure of McDuck. Beat the game with the treasure of McDuck, you get the best ending in the game. So speaking of which, let's go left, here's a giant chest, what's there, what's in it? Oh! Treasure map piece! So there you go, that's the treasure map piece of Niagara Falls. Uh, some people may be wondering how you get this one, because if you just stand and whack the golf club, you can't uh, destroy the barrier that's protecting it from the top, which is off screen, and you can't really see it. Uh, another trick you can do in DuckTales 2, which you could do in the first game, but it wasn't really that necessary, uh, you can jump while you sidle up to a wall. Like, again, when you're holding against the wall, Scrooge goes into golf swing mode, right? And if you jump after you're in golf swing pose, he'll still be in golf swing pose in the air, and then you can sort of whack things in the air, and that's what I had to do in order to get uh, past that barrier. I had to jump and whack stuff, and when I had to open the treasure chest itself, I had to jump and smash the treasure chest. Uh, so that's one thing that uh, you might want to look out for. I love this thing. Gyros put all these inflatable rafts everywhere, so you, first you knock it into the water, and then you hit the wall to make it go forward. I love it! <laughs> and Gyro has another thing for us! You can use it on things that wouldn't break with a normal pogo jump. 
So Scrooge has three upgrades that he can pick up that will stay on his character forever as long as you pick them up. Uh, this one allows me to break certain objects with my pogo stick. Uh, these crates could be broken always, but there are certain, like, uh, heavy stone objects that I couldn't bounce on and destroy before. Now I can, so haha. -ha. It'll let me get some treasures that I couldn't in the Bermuda Triangle and Egypt and, you know. So that's why I went to this level first, just for simple convenience. And you can still knock objects into the sky, you can use it to attack enemies. But of course, this game's not too drastically different from the original DuckTales, and why why bro why break what isn't broken, you know? <laughs> if it ain't broken, don't fix it! But, uh, you know, it's still fantastic fun. I, I just love the, these games. They're so, you know, just nice ways to kill time, nice stress relievers. It's DuckTales! Launchpad McQuack is once again in every level. Uh, you can actually use him infinitely, I believe. Uh, once again, because the ending does not require you to get ten million dollars, it just requires you to get all the map pieces, uh, you can replay levels over and over and over again, and there really is no penalty. You can keep collecting money and collecting money and collecting money, and you can get like 900, 999 billion trillion, nine 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 dollars. And there's no limit, because you can just replay the level over and 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 over again. Uh, and it doesn't affect your ending, because the money doesn't really matter, unless you're going for the bad ending, because the bad ending is, once again, uh, to get zero dollars when you find the final boss. Uh, but if you're not going for the bad ending, you know, how much money you have, it doesn't really matter. You're just looking for the great treasure of McDuck. So, I'm still going to be looking at every nook and cranny, I'm still going to be collecting all the treasure that I can. Uh, but getting like 10 million dollars isn't a priority, so I'm not going to be replaying levels too much. Uh, but you know, it's still fun. You can still be one of those obsessive compulsive gamers who wants to show the world that, hey, I beat the game with this amount of money, because I'm badass. <laughs> anyway, here's the first boss of Niagara Falls. The first boss of the game, I should say. This is Fire Quacker! He has a very simple strategy. You will go in a very V sh a W shaped motion, you know, from one side of the room. Eventually, he'll go diagonally down and shoot a fireball. It's a little bit of a timing game. You do have to get used to how fast he will move to the other side, but when you do, just jump on him five times with the pogo stick and you can defeat the Fire Quacker. I love that name. Fire Quacker! That's what. Again! When I said the Dracula duck from the first game should have been Quackula, Fire Quacker, that's a pun on a duck. <laughs> After you beat a level, you come to the item shop, and this is where you could actually spend the money you've collected on upgrades. You can buy uh, extra health pieces that will refill your health whenever you want, sort of like an energy tank, that's what the cake is. A safe to collect your money, because when you die in a level, you actually lose all your money this time around. That was different from the first game. Uh, a good mojo doll, which is a one-up. A continue globe, where if you lose all your lives, you won't- you aren't dead. You won't be kicked back to the title screen. You can continue one more time. And of course, uh, I just picked up a- a, a special energy thing. Uh, and just like the first game, it's this little star that increases your health bar. So now my health bar, which was three units, is now four units of health. So huzzah! I'm stronger! Of course, if I was in character and I was actually Scrooge McDuck, I wouldn't have spent a dime on that. But uh, this is a video game and it doesn't affect my ending, so I don't care. I'm gonna play loose with my role-playing of Scrooge McDuck, who is Scottish. <laughs> God, you never said something wrong before in a conversation, and then it's too late to go back and say it because it's on video forever? We all make mistakes, kids. Although, you know what? He's not Scottish, because he's Duckburgian. <laughs> I know this world is like a weird Disney world where they have real places like the Bermuda Triangle and Niagara Falls and stuff, but... God damn it, he's a fictional duck. There's no talking ducks in real life. Unless you mean the Aflac duck. Because he's real. The Aflac duck is real. Gilbert Gottfried! <laughs> I'm Jack the Hawk! Anywho, uh... So 
So we're in the Bermuda Triangle now on a crashed, sunken ship. You can use the cane to whack the barrels in this place, although you gotta be careful because sometimes money comes out, other times a giant rat will come out and he will run right into you and damage you, and that's never fun. So again, uh, because it's an exploration game, uh, you wanna hug every wall that you can because a lot of these places are like Transylvania in the first game where there's a lot of invisible, you know, walls and a lot of invisible pathways that you can't really see, but if you hold and hug the walls, you'll probably see them eventually. Every level's sort of like that, so you do have to keep an eye out. I do like the exploration in this game. I think a lot of the puzzles are a lot better. They, they actually have legitimate puzzles in this game. Uh, both in Egypt, both in uh, the Mew. The Moo? I don't know how you say that. But, uh... Yeah, they have legitimate puzzles in this game, so the gameplay is a little bit more, you know, intense, a little bit better. I like it. Knock this in. Money, good. I, oh god, oh god, <laughs> I didn't get hit. So if you go all the way to the right, invisible pathway, and there's a chest. But there's more, so keep going. <laughs> Use the pogo and go higher. Ah, more treasure, but there's more, go right again. And there you will find... A piece of map. Ha ha! And there's your map piece of the Bermuda Triangle, ladies and gentlemen. You can't outrun me! Th that was terrible. I can't do a Scottish accent. <laughs> Duck Bergian accent, because he's Scrooge McDuck, goddammit. But, uh, you know. Once again, uh, jewel pieces will just magically appear if you go to a certain spot of the map. So, you always want to look in every nook and cranny. Again, it's still DuckTales, you know, it's not different from the first game all that much. You know, they gave Scrooge an easier time pogoing by not having to hold down, and uh, now you don't need money for the best ending, and there's upgrades to collect from Gyro. And all that jazz, but you know, at, at its heart, it's still DuckTales. It still feels like the exact same game uh, that we played before. Only different. Take this hammer adapter! It'll break things that a golf swing normally wouldn't! There you go! So now I can use my golf swing to destroy blocks I could not before. So that is the second of three upgrades that Gyro will give you. And, uh, it's good for getting treasures. Well, I've already said that, but I'm pretty sure you figured. <laughs> ah, rat! See, so yeah, that's what happens. You hit the barrels, sometimes you get money, other times rats. So jump! There you go. And this trust don't smash it quite yet! Get it to the left so you can get to the barrels. There you go. Gotta have patience, gotta use your brain! Otherwise you would have missed out on that free man! Once again, you run out of all your free men. Game over. You kick back to the title screen. This game has, uh, you know, no patience for, for people who die. I mean, this boss is super easy. I think he's like the easiest boss in the game. You just have to jump on him like five times, but all he does is he grabs the rings, and then he grabs another ring maybe, and then he'll come back down and walk. He doesn't have a projectile attack every time I fought him. He just sort of walks around and tries to jump into you. So, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have a problem with that guy. And if you do, well, uh, sorry. Maybe you should, you know, just stop playing games for a while. Now in the item shop, there's a treasure map for one million dollars. Well, I have a million dollars. May as well buy it. It is needed for the good ending. So boom, there's your treasure map. So there's five treasure map pieces in each level, one in the shop, and I believe you get one because the game starts that way. Because, you know, if you don't find the map piece, how do you know there's a great Duckburg or McDuck treasure? Anyway, that's DuckTales 2, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in part 2 when we visit the Mew, or the Moo. I, I don't know what it is.